Hey everybody, it's your old pal the Shaughness, and uh, several people have suggested that I do this. I go back and just grab some artwork from the old days and uh, just put it up here, so I'm going to do that. I like to draw on uh, recycled and free recycled material as often as possible, so this is a little cardboard insert. Uh, sometimes I draw on both sides of them to save even more and stay, save time and space and money. Um, I like to do that. Here's the original here. Um, you can see that it's just, uh, just a little rectangle on a piece of cardboard. Nothing in the back there. And I love the way that cardboard absorbs uh, markers. And these are all map colors right here. Uh, that's a sharpie and then this white stuff is a uh, white jelly roll pen but I love how the cardboard absorbs ink and markers and stuff like that so this is uh, a piece from 2017 so I hope you enjoy that one up next is uh, this one right here this is um, a storyboard that I was working on and then I thought I might plan it to become something bigger. This is the original thumbnail that I did based on the one above it. I started with that and then kind of it developed into this journey to Dragon Castle from uh, back in May of 23. The idea is the castle mouth is kind of like a dragon's mouth. The portcullis is the teeth and all that. Here's the uh, close up, still close up of the thumbnail. And I'm pretty happy with how it translated to this larger version and there might be another one coming. This one is just an exercise in lighting. It's me trying to figure out how to fill these areas with um, this kind of light by using pencil, smudging pencils and then erasing to get that light effect. And in keeping with the Star Wars theme, total coincidence, but here we have uh, Greedo. These are Sharpie lines and then a lot of stippling, Pigma Microns, and Sharpies, and here's Hammerhead. Same thing, just a stippling, stippling cross-hatching, and there they go. That Seth is all right. Now that is something I've thought many, many times in my life. And this guy right here is definitely meant to be a Swamp Thing-ish sort of character with all these little leaves and twigs. This one is pretty weird. It's just me trying to figure out how to put things in a sequence. It's not even a story, it's just a sequence of things and techniques. Uh, this guy's saying my machines are working well and he's got, I've got this detailed background. Um, this guy is saying, don't confuse doubt with uncertainty. And then he loves candy, of course. Wait, there is more pure love on the way. This is me trying to do a border without a border. So just the stippling goes right up to the edge here. And there's no actual border. And then uh, this guy's saying, when I have carrots for eyes, I can see more clearly. And th the little stick figure is saying, true? <laughs> Whoa, that's one weird looking cat. And he is weird looking. That is crazy. Uh, here's a cup. I, I drew a lot of cups in these days. Uh, mugs, really. Um, is it true? Yes. The cup says, I must have blood. I really love that blood. That was my first time to try to invent something like that. I, I didn't invent it, but I mean for me trying to figure out how to make that. I really liked it. And then the little cartoon guy is saying, whoa, good ideas. And this is old coffee head, of course. Do you have something to say? Do you like to draw cartoons? Join the cartoonist revolution or just stay home and draw. That pretty much, <laughs> that pretty much sums up my sentiments. Uh, talk about revolution and then just stay home and draw. Here we have me trying to figure out how to do this lighting effect here with these, uh, 
kind of negative space and drawing the dots. And then it's also an exercise in perspective uh, in the ship and then lighting. Just a piece of paper. And last but not least, Gorilla Gok in the case of the Mental Tomatoes. He's reading Telekinesis by Dave Lin. 2008, I'm living in Mongolia. Here's Gok imagining these tomatoes. He thinks of it, they appear. This goofy guy walks up and says, Hey Gok, what you doing? And there he's happily thinking of his tomatoes. I focused all my negative energy to create these tomatoes. They embody all my anxieties and remorse. Why, that's the nuttiest thing I've ever heard. I can't believe you actually. And then over here, I feel so guilty and unloved. And then Gok says, I know what you mean. That's one of my favorite things. And down here we have Garnosity. Uh, I'd probably draw Cliff more than anybody else. Man, I sure could go for a cucumber and peanut butter sandwich. Hey, what's this? Uh, now that sound effect, if I tried to do it, it would, it just, it can only exist as a cartoon. Uh, and then it's my sandwich. That's magic. This is drawn on a foam board. It was like one of the few things I could find to draw on in the early days in Mongolia. And it's one of my favorites. It's fallen apart now. It's all beat up and cracked, but, uh, there it is. And here's a little bonus. This is the thumbnail that I did for this. When you got a idea, you got to capture really quickly. And that's what the idea is here. Just to, you're not trying to, this is stick figures and you're not trying to impress anybody. Just get that idea down. I would sincerely like to thank you for watching. And until next time, internet, I'm drawn to you. Thank you.